Hello everyone, welcome to this video all about geometric operations, which is a type of measurement and data question. Now this video is going to focus on the topic of length. To begin with, let's read the short description about what we can expect in length related questions. So length is simply the measurement of an object from one side to another. Length questions are similar to height questions and will involve knowledge of properties of geometrical shapes. Students should be familiar with methods they can utilize to determine the area and volume of various shapes. Okay, so length is basically going to be very, very similar to the concept of height or the concept of width. They are simply one dimension of a 2D or 3D shape. So you can imagine that length related questions are going to be very frequent and may overlap a lot with the questions all about 2D and 3D shapes. So that means if we're quite comfortable with the various formulas we may encounter with different kinds of shapes, we're going to be finding these types of questions fairly straightforward. So for example, if we look at some 2D options, we can see that for a square or rectangle, the length is going to be one side of the shape and so manipulating the rest of the dimensions uh, such as the width for the case of a rectangle or realizing all four sides are going to be exactly the same for a square is going to come in quite handy. So let's look at the area for a rectangle and that would be the length multiplied by the width. Now, some questions will actually tell you that the length is going to change and not the width. And that relies us on knowing which side is actually the side being changing. Is it this side, this side, or, um, or well, just those two sides, actually, I guess, since they are the same. Uh, knowing that the, the horizontal line is going to be the length is going to be quite important in realizing that it's separate from the width, which is the vertical line. So that would be an important distinction to make. Um, other 2D shapes that the length is quite common for, they sometimes like to throw in shapes like trapeziums, which is a bit funny. That's an awful trapezium. Let's draw in like this. And this one's a bit more difficult to figure out, but to figure out maybe um, the area, if it asks for that, we need to know the length of this top line, which we'll call A, and we need to know the length of this bottom longer line, which we'll call B. And we also need to know the this line, which they sometimes call the height. And so we need to add the top and bottom line, multiply it, and multiply that by the h, then divide that by 2 to figure out the area. For things like the triangle, we know that we've got the base and we've also got the height. And to figure out the area of that, we just simply take half of the base whoops, times by the height. And of course, the length could be any one of these dimensions there. Lastly, the most common type of shape you'll encounter is of course the circle where the length could be the diameter or the radius uh, here. And the area is of course um, pi r squared or pi d squared over four. Those two are the exact same equation, but you'll usually see this equation more often. If we've got the knowledge of 2D shapes, you can generally apply them to 3D shapes as well because Generally, for things like the prisms, any kind of prism is found, or the volume is found by finding the area of its base shape, then multiplying it by the height of that shape. So that as long as you are confident in your 2D shapes, you're going to be very familiar with figuring out the volume of a 3D shape as well, without necessarily having to memorize all of the different formulas. So those would be the more common concepts we're going to lean towards when we're dealing with length questions. Let's see if we can try it out by dealing with this question here. This example question says we're given two 30 centimeter strips of card. One is divided into thirds and the other is divided into quarters. Given that knowledge, what is the total length of this arrangement? 
thankfully they've given us a diagram representation of this question and that would be one of the things that we want to do as well if the question doesn't specifically give you a diagram you should always draw a diagram with all the important information because it's just so much easier to see all the information if you can see a diagram or a picture they always say a picture is worth a thousand words and that definitely holds true in questions like these so let's see what we can do about this we're told that one of them is divided into thirds so we can clearly see that's this top strip up here now we can figure out what the length of each individual section of this card is thanks to that information so let's take 30 centimeters and divide it into thirds 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 times 1 is equal to 10 centimeters. So it looks like each of these smaller strips are all equal to 10 centimeters. So adding that information to the diagram here, like we talked about, very important that we keep all the information in the diagram. The other is also 30 centimeters, but it's divided into slightly smaller sections and we're told it's divided into quarters. So let's do the same steps, see what we get from there. Four goes into 30, not fully. So that will give us um, 30 divided by four gives us, uh, goes into 7.5 times. So that's going to be equal to 7.5 centimeters. So adding that into the diagram as well, 7.5. And might cheat a little bit and copy and paste this information since they're exactly the same. Now, now that we know the individual segments, we can see when looking for the total length of this specific arrangement. The issue is that we just need to know what this length is. Because we know already what this length is, it's equal to 30 centimeters. How do we then figure out this missing length provided by the second strip of card? Well, it helps that we know that this is equal to 20 centimeters. And this is important because the uh, the way the strips of card has been cut looks like they have a cut that aligns with the second strip of card right here. So we know that this is 20 centimeters and we also know that this is going to equal to 15 centimeters with the addition of the two 7.5s. Now we also know that the total length of card is 30 centimeters. So this side must also equal to 15 centimeters to make up for the rest of the card. Now we can see that how that helps. We've got the total length over here and we know part of the length here and the question needs us to figure out this missing length. So hopefully you can see that this segment can simply be figured out by taking 15 and the difference with 10, giving us five centimeters. So we now have all the information we need to figure out the length of this arrangement. We know that this is equal to 30 and this is equal to five. So the total will be 35 centimeters, or we can see that is going to be option A. Okay, so for this particular question, we saw that the important technique here was to employ the use of a diagram and our knowledge of how length works for rectangles. That allowed us to figure out the total length of the arrangement we saw in the question. So hopefully these are some techniques that allows you to improve your uh, future length related questions. Thanks everyone so much for listening.